post operative instructions. Please read these instructions carefully. Sometimes after effects of oral surgery are minimal, so not all of these instructions may apply. Common sense will often dictate what you should do. However, when in doubt, follow these guidelines or call our office for clarification. First hour. Bite down gently but firmly on the gauze that has been placed over the surgical site, making sure they remain in place. Do not change them for the first hour unless the bleeding is not being controlled. If active bleeding persists after one hour, place enough gauze to obtain pressure over the surgical site for another 30 to 60 minutes. The gauze may be changed as necessary and may be dampened and or fluffed for more comfortable positioning. Gauze should only be used the day of surgery. Remove the gauze while sleeping. Exercise care. Do not disturb the surgical area today. Do not rinse today or probe the area with any objects. Do not drink through a straw nor spit. You may wish to brush your teeth gently the day after surgery. Do not smoke for at least seven days since it is detrimental to healing. The use of mouthwash, Listerine or peroxide is not recommended. Bleeding or oozing. Intermittent bleeding or oozing is normal. Placing fresh gauze on the site may control it. If bleeding persists or becomes heavy, you may substitute a tea bag, moistened tea bag, for 20 or 30 minutes. If bleeding remains uncontrolled, please call our office. Swelling. Often there is some swelling associated with oral surgery. You can minimize this by using a cold pack and apply to face or cheek adjacent to the surgical site. This should be applied 20 minutes on and 20 minutes off during the first 12 to 24 hours after surgery. Take any doctor prescribed medicine for the control of swelling as directed. After 24 hours, it's usually best to switch from ice to moist heat to the site. You may wet a towel and place it in the microwave until warm not to burn yourself. Remember, swelling is always worst between the third and fourth day. Swelling will start going down gradually. Pain. Unfortunately, oral surgery is accompanied by some degree of discomfort. You will usually have a prescription for pain medication. Before the anesthetic has worn off, take one pill. Effects of pain medicines vary widely among individuals. If you do not achieve adequate relief, you may supplement each pill with an Advil Tylenol or a leave. Remember that the most severe discomfort is usually within the first six hours after the anesthetic wears off. Nausea. Nausea is common after surgery. Nausea may be caused by pain medication. To reduce nausea, take medication with food or with a substantial amount of fluids. If vomiting persists, please contact us. Diet. Eat nourishing foods that can be taken with comfort. It is advisable to confine the first day's intake to soft foods, liquids, oatmeal, puddings, shakes, pasta, scrambled eggs. Avoid foods like nuts, chips, toast, pizza, or anything that may get lodged in the socket. Do not take fluids through a straw for the first seven days. Avoid spicy or acidic foods, such as orange juice and tomatoes they will irritate the area. Sharp edges. If you feel sharp edges at the surgical site, it's probably the bony walls, which originally supported the teeth. Occasionally, small pieces of bone may work themselves out during the first week or two after surgery. They are not pieces of teeth, and if necessary, we will remove them. Instructions for the second and third day after surgery. Mouth rinses. Use 1 quarter teaspoon of salt dissolved in an 8 ounce glass of warm water and gently rinse. Do this three times a day for at least one week. This should be done the third day after surgery. Do not use mouthwash, Listerine, nor peroxide. This will delay healing. Brushing. Continue oral hygiene the day after surgery. Soreness and swelling may not permit vigorous brushing. Hot applications. Apply warm compresses to the area consisting of 20 minutes on and 20 minutes off. This should be done after 24 hours to help decrease swelling and stiffness. Dry socket. A dry socket usually occurs during the third to fifth day. This is the loss of the blood clot from the socket. 
there is a noticeable, distinct, persistent throbbing pain in the jaw, often radiating towards the ear and forward along the jaw. If you do not see a steady improvement during the first few days after surgery, don't suffer needlessly. Call the office and report any symptoms so you can be seen as soon as possible. It is our desire that your recovery be as smooth and pleasant as possible. Following these instructions will assist you, but if you have any questions, please call the office.